have already shuffled in, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Nine of Wands and it's with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Wands, the card that's above the word pass, it can be about anxiety. Yeah, and the Eight of Wands, the card that's below the word pass, can be about communication. So there was a lot of communication, that's what I'm getting, between you and your person. Back and forth, back and forth. A lot of talk, a lot of text, a lot of phone calls. And because the nine of, nine of Wands is here, it's indicating that the conversations were causing you anxiety, worry, or you were very disturbed by what your person was saying. Yeah. It was not a happy conversation, put it that way. Yeah, so it kind of made you feel like you wanted to close yourself off from this person. Because if you look at the Nine of Wands, this person has built a wall. And when you get this Nine of Wands, no one gets past your barricade. So the communication must have been really ugly. And because it's, an, it's the Eight of Wands, the communication card... It's telling me that some of you were dealing with Aries, a Leo, or you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, a fire sign. Yeah. So that's the reason past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. Now we got this Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups, the card that's above the word present, that's actually a celebration card. It can signify the reappearance of a long lost love. Or maybe for some of you, you could be reaching out to someone that you used to know, or someone that you have, someone that's been away for a while. Or someone that's been away for a while could be reaching out to you. All of a sudden you get this phone call coming up from somebody um, that you used to be with. And it's saying it's going to be good. The two of you will celebrate and rejoice. Yeah, that's what you get with the Three of Cups. And it's interesting because it's with this Ten of Cups, the card that's below the word present. So it's going to feel like a dream come true. Yeah, and this, I'm getting for a lot of you, this is not the person that you had this, um, this um, communication with. It's somebody that, someone else. Someone, for some of you, maybe it could be the person that you had this phone call with, but I'm getting that this is someone else. I'm getting two people here. Yeah, somebody reached out to you you used to know. Someone reached out to you, this person you used to know, and it's saying it's going to be good. It could actually go somewhere. It could get started again. Ten of Cups is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so you had a fight with someone on the phone, the person that you were dealing with, and you you feel like you, you, some of you, you closed yourself off to them after this communication was so, so disturbing. So you're celebrating with someone else. So I'm getting two people. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Six of Swords. And it's with this Nine of Cups. Yeah, so Six of Swords. 
yeah, this reading is kind of, um, might be confusing because the energy I'm getting is that you're going back and forth now between two people. Okay, so your challenge is Six of Swords. So the person that you had this phone call with that was disturbing, it looks like they could be coming towards you with a Six of Swords here. Um, they could want to be more peaceful with you. Because the Six of Swords, that's a card above the word challenge. It's about coming out of a fight or raging waters. And now the waters are calm and you're moving into calmer waters. So this is what your person is trying to go towards you with with peace and not wanting any more fighting and they see you like their wish come true this person actually feels really blessed and satisfied to have you and I say this because the nine of cups is actually the wish card yeah you could be someone that they've always wished for this person has a very strong desire for you yeah, so it looks like they make a return, but you you celebrated, or you're celebrating with someone else that came back. Yeah, so let's see what the outcome is. So we got this Knight of Cups, and it's with this Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, you, the person that doesn't want to fight anymore or have these... Um, disturbing phone calls or communication. They want to be at peace with you. They want to stop the bickering and fighting. They could know or see or feel that you're seeing someone else. And they come rushing in. Maybe you told them that you started to see someone that you used to know. Here, but here they come. Knight of Cups, the card that's above the word outcome. Knight of Cups comes rushing in, being very romantic and sensitive. So they're not happy that you've celebrated with someone you used to know. And they're going to hold on to you really tight. Because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, this man has his feet on his money and his hands on his money and if a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside his head he would not budge he'll he would be in that same position so your person got word that you're you've celebrated or you're seeing someone else and they're rushing in yeah they they want you for themselves so here they come they probably regret this they probably regret the communication and the talk that the two of you had yeah they realize they said things that they should not have said and here they come rushing in they're going to be holding on to you really tight you probably won't have a chance to see this person that you celebrated with because they're your person is this other person <laughs> I'm getting confused two people here um, I feel like I'm confusing you I'm going back and forth between two people but anyways a person from the recent past well these are two past the person that you had the bad communication with they're holding on really tight now okay you must have told them or they saw you with this other person yeah, they want to be with you. And then you got this past person that's that's really into you too. So some of you Aries are going to be really busy in February. This could go into March. So that's a reading that I have for you Aries. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below.
of the extended of this reading. That way, um, I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we're, we're all going to get through, through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you in the next reading. And take care.